Hello again fellow YouTubers and GSF RCF owners. Welcome to the channel Bullets Garage. My name is Rafael and today I'm going to be fixing something that I got yelled at on the Club Lexus for doing it wrong. So for those of you who have watched my coilover install video, you saw how I installed the coils, more or less what I did, the steps I took. Um, I did a write-up on Club Lexus about it and a member who I guess he's an older gentleman has more experience than I do and I totally respect that kind of burned on my video saying you know you shouldn't really follow the steps you didn't torque anything down you didn't mention about resetting your bushings bunch of stuff I'll put the link to the forum thread below so you can read it for yourself but what I'm trying to get to in the point of this video is he said some negative things, but I take his criticism and I'm gonna correct it to fix my mistakes. He mentioned that I didn't torque anything down on camera, true, I didn't torque anything on camera. I did that all off camera, make sure everything was torqued to spec. Common sense guys, always make sure everything is torqued to spec. Um, but he mentioned a very important point when it comes to your bushings. He said that I did not reset the position of the bushings after the car was lowered and i'm thinking to myself that's the first time i ever heard of this reset bushings what is he talking about so i did some reading on the forum that he was talking about and essentially the bushings that come stock on the car um the way they are tightened once they're set in a specific position let's say you lower the car more the bushing doesn't spin freely on the bolt okay so the bushing is held on tight by the bolt and if you lower the car the bushing doesn't move while the control arm is moving further than it normally intends to and that could cause premature wear on the bushing so he said you have to loosen all the bushings jack up the lower control arm to more or less the height that your car sits at in its normal position when it's lowered now and then tighten the bolts and that will set it to the correct position for the bushings so there's no additional wear on them so that's what i'm going to do today and yeah so this is what i printed out from the forum page there's a couple bushings that we have to pay close attention to so right here is the upper control arm which has two bolts which we're going to loosen and then retighten. there's one lower control arm on this side and another one on this side so we're going to loosen one two three four bolts jack up the suspension to where we need it to be and then tighten those bolts and that will set correct bushing preload on the rear suspension which actually on my car i did not lower too much so i'm not going to be touching the rear but if i lower it more in the future i will um all the things that I highlighted yellow are the ones that need to be done in the rear, which is a couple more. But we're not going to be touching this, so we're going to focus on the front. The link will be in the description below to where I got these specs from, so check it out if you need it. So basically, um, let me begin and start kind of loosening these bolts. I'm going to try and get a marker and mark where they're at currently, what position they're at, so I could check after if they switch or not. I mean, you know, this is my first time doing it, but I get the gist of what he's saying. We're going to do it. All right. So this is one upper control arm bushing, which I kind of marked so I could get a reference point. The other one is right here on this side. Then we move down to this bushing right here. And then the last one is here. So I kind of marked it down so I could kind of reference it and see if they change with the new position or not. But let's loosen them up and go from there. All right, so the upper bolts are 14 millimeter. The one on the inside here is a 19 millimeter and the big one is a 21 millimeter here. They were not tight at all, especially these. So make sure when you torque them to spec, you torque him correctly now what we're gonna do is jack up the lower control arm to where this sits at and then we'll tighten them up all right so I took my jack 
put it underneath the lower control arm, jacked it up until the jack no longer is sitting on the car. And I'm gonna start tightening them all up, torquing the specs. That way, the suspension is basically showing how it's loaded because the car is lower. So when I torque it down, these bolts now to the new, you know, to the correct torque specs, they're gonna be preset to the lowered car position, not how it was before. All right, guys, that's that. I did both sides, left and right, the two upper bolts for the upper control arm, two lower ones for the two separate bushings on the lower control arm. I loosened them, I jacked up the lower control arm until it was all the way up that the body was lifting off the jack stand, tightened them up, torqued them to spec. That's it. This should prevent the bushings from having excessive wear, seeing how my car is lowered more in the front than it was from stock. Please subscribe if you have any questions, comment below, and I'll get back with an answer for you. See you on the next one, guys.